Hi, my name is Aaron McRae, and I'm a Senior Service Delivery Executive here at Ignite. I'm a Cybersecurity and Risk Management Leader by trade and a Commander of the United States Navy Reserves. Feel free to reach out and connect with me on LinkedIn. Today, we're going to briefly talk about the CMMC 2.0 assessment guides for both Level 1 and Level 2, and specifically focus on self-assessments. The focus of a Level 1 or Level 2 CMMC self-assessment is solely for the protection of either Federal Contract Information, or FCI, for Level 1, or Controlled and Classified Information, or CUI, for Level 2. The definitions are captured on the screen, as well as within the assessment guides themselves. An annual self-assessment is required, along with a senior company official's attestation or affirmation of compliance for the level that you are seeking. This will be captured within the Supplier Performance Risk System, or SPRS. Your assessment can apply to an entire enterprise network or to a very specific enclave or what we call an authorization boundary. This will be based on the proper scoping of either FCI for level one or CUI at level two for how it's processed, stored, and transmitted. Organizations seeking compliance should be aware of specific terminology and should refer to the assessment guides for further information. Now, let's discuss the criteria and the methodology for your self-assessments. Either one will be based on procedures found in this special publication 800-171 alpha, specifically in section 2.1. Each assessment procedure will contain an assessment objective and a set of potential assessment methods that can be used to conduct your assessment. These objectives are provided for each practice at either level for your self-assessments. Let's take a look at these objectives for a minute. They will contain determination statements linked to the content of the very specific practice that you're assessing. They can contain things like specifications, which include documented artifacts like policies, procedures, the mechanisms that you're using at the hardware, software, or firmware level to safeguard information within a system, the activities that are being performed, backups, monitoring network traffic, et cetera, and the individuals who are carrying out those activities. Assessment methods will define the nature and extent of your self-assessment action. There are three types, examination, interviewing, and testing. Examination is the process of reviewing, inspecting, observing, analyzing, etc., the assessment objectives, for example, your policies and procedures, network diagrams. Interviewing, that's the area where you would speak to those people that are carrying out the activities and putting in the safeguards for your systems and the information needing to be protected. Finally, testing. That's actually executing uh, specifications and mechanisms under certain conditions to see if they perform according to expected behavior. You can use policies and procedures and then execute the procedure to determine if the outcome is what was expected. Note, organizations do have the flexibility to determine which assessment objects and methods you will employ for your self-assessments. This can be based on level of effort, efficiency, and cost effectiveness. So what is the primary outcome of a level one or level two assessment? Essentially, it's to create the self-assessment report containing the findings associated with your assessment. For each practice you will assess, you must capture one of the following three as a response, met, not met, or not applicable. For each one, ensure you include statements that explain why it's either met, not met, or not applicable, as well as documented evidences and artifacts to support your findings. There is a nuance at level two that you should be aware of. Level two is bifurcated. This means that if your organization is deemed to handle sensitive CUI as it relates to national security, then you will be required to have an independent C3PAO perform your assessment as opposed to performing a self-assessment. So be aware of that. So let's recap. Level 1, Level 2 self-assessment procedures are based on NIST 800-171 Alpha. Both are annual. Both require a signature from a senior company official. Your organization has the flexibility in choosing assessment objects and methods based on level of effort and cost effectiveness. The primary result of your self-assessment is a report capturing your findings, met, not met, not applicable. Level 2 is bifurcated, meaning you may not be able to do a self-assessment. Instead, you may have to have one performed independently. Thank you for tuning in to this short informational session. If you have comments or questions about the new CMMC assessment guidance, please reach out to us at info at igniteplatform.com.